So I saw this really cool text effect where you have the text and the shadows casting on the previous letter each time. And it gives a very cool perspective and depth to a slide or a keyword. So I'm going to show you how to do it in PowerPoint. Let's start from a blank slide. And first we're going to insert an image. So go to insert and then we go to icons. On the windows, it might be insert picture here. Then we go to images and here let's type in nature forest. And then we can look for a picture that we like. To be honest, it doesn't really matter which one you take. As long as it's a nice picture, you can use it. So I'm going to select one of the images here. Let's take this one and add it to the slide. I'm going to close it and put it in the corner, right click. And then we adjust the crop marks until it meets the border of the slide. And then we just select the image so it fills the entire screen. Now we're going to add a text box, drag it on the screen and type in letter N. Select the letter and let's give it a nice font. I'm using Poppins and I'm going for the sub font. So the little categories here and I'm using black. I'm going to make it white and then I'm going to use the font size 150. For a lot of you, you'll see that the maximum font size is 96. You can always just type it in to have a larger number or click that increase button and that will also do it. Now we're going to select the font, right click format shape, go to text options, then go to the second tab here, open the shadow tab, presets, and we're going to choose the one with the drop shadow to the left. So I'll set to the left. I'm going to increase the blur a little bit and reduce the transparency to about 40%. Then I'm going to alt drag Alt shift drag to create a copy or just control C control V. And then you can just change the letters and repeat. So I'm going to create a copy each time and just change the letters. Let's type in the word nature and then we just overwrite each time. Now, if you want to position them, you can select them also drag around the text boxes, arrange, align, and then distribute horizontally. I'm going to place everything in the middle. And if you want to space everything a bit further apart, you can always do it like this arrange, align, and distribute horizontally. And this will work fine. And now let's put it on full screen. And this is how you can create this really nice text effect with the overlapping letters and shadows in PowerPoint in just a few minutes.